Now let me show you something really cool. Um, let's take our result for the electronic portion of the thermal conductivity, one-third CVL or one-third CV squared times tau. Um, but then let's use our result from earlier in the class, which was quite general, actually didn't really depend on band structure, which was an exact formula for the heat capacity. Um, if we plug that in, okay, well, we'll get something kind of ugly, right? One-third times pi squared over three, blah, 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 blah. Um, but um, what's really interesting is that, uh, and I, this is not my idea, if you divide that by our result for the electrical conductivity times temperature, let's see what happens. Um, so our electrical conductivity was E squared times tau over M times the number density of electrons, which I can write as um, two thirds times the density of states times EF. Um, and then I'll just carry around the temperature in the denominator because it belongs there. I'll make one more substitution, which is that we've shown that um, the velocity squared is two times EF over M for a, for a free electron. And then all hell breaks loose. Um, cancellations everywhere. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Go ahead, check. Um, it's pretty cool. What you'll find is that after you're done doing all your cancellation um, and high-fiving yourself, you'll find that um, there's a constant, a universal constant basically pops out on the right-hand side. This, this particular ratio of the thermal conductivity to the electrical conductivity actually contains no properties of the metal itself, like the scattering time, mass of electrons, none of that stuff shows up. Um, the only thing that shows up is um, the Boltzmann constant and the fundamental charge. Um, so the constant that shows up on the right hand side is called the Lorenz number and the like the proportionality between the electronic portion of the thermal conductivity to the electronic electrical conductivity like of charge. Um, that law is called the Wiedemann Franz law and it's um, super important and ubiquitous um, in the field of heat in microscale heat transfer. Um, there are actually lots of different reasons why it gets used, but the primary one that I've seen is that um, it's actually a really convenient way of figuring out how much thermal conductivity in a material is due to electrons versus um, phonons. So the thermal conductivity is actually a combination of you know the conductivity due to phonons and electrons, and in some materials it's not all that clear what is conducting what. And the um, Wiedemann-Franz law gives you a really easy way to check.